Well, a very good morning to everyone. everyone. Again, it's a, it's a duller day. The sun's trying to come out here and it's breezy. It gets quite warm in my sitting room here. Uh, so I've had the window open first thing and I've had to close it again because the the lambs in the field uh, right, right next to us are bleating at the tops of their voices. Um, and so I've closed it again, but uh, lovely to hear them. And you still might in our moments of quiet. Uh, so we'll see a lovely sound, a joyous sound. So it's 8.30 and a very warm welcome to our service of morning prayer today on Thursday the 30th of April the last day of the month. Let us be still and bring our hearts and minds before God. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, Rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our psalm today is Psalm 136, um, and we'll read to the end of verse 9, if you're following along with me. Um, but if you have a chance after the service, do read on. Every second line, so every second line of each verse, says, For his steadfast love endures forever. So I'll read a line and then it is, For his steadfast love endures forever. And this repetition helps reinforce that wonderful, wonderful truth that God's steadfast love endures forever. And it plants it firmly in our hearts and our minds. So if you do read to the end of this psalm by yourself today and say it out loud, I assure you that by the end of that psalm, you will know in your heart that God's love endures, steadfast love endures forever. So let us read. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who spread out the earth on the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who made the great lights, for his steadfast love endures forever. The sun to rule over the day, for his steadfast love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule over the night, for his steadfast love endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading today 
again continues the story of Mary and Elizabeth and it begins in Luke chapter 1 beginning at verse 57. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth and she bore a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child and they were going to name Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, no, he's to be called John. And they said to her, none of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, his name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbours and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, what then will this child become? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favourably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you've brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. O oh God, you are our way, our truth, our life. May your church listen more carefully and more urgently to the words of Jesus. Give us courage to live out your truth in our daily lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who don't know you and those who dismiss you. For those who constantly reach out to the unknowing, unseeing and unhearing, often to be rejected and scorned. For those who influence, teach, disciple and encourage others in your ways. Protect them with the shield of faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those with important decisions to make, 
for governments and politicians, for scientists and researchers across the world, for those responsible for justice, for those in their ordinary lives making difficult decisions. Grant them your strength and courage to be compassionate, faithful and wise in their decisions and actions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those having difficulty adjusting to new ways of being, in relationships, in work, in leisure time, for those experiencing new pressures and anxieties and risks as a result of living in lockdown, for those who feel the structures of their life is are collapsing, May they be grounded in your faithfulness and not tossed around by the uncertainty of our days. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who work to conserve creation, the earth and all its inhabitants, for the zoos and animal keepers, for programmes of conservation and preservation, as we've witnessed astonishing healing of our planet and nature whilst humans have been restricted, grant that in future we will treasure and honour all that you have entrusted to us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes, sanctuaries and safe places, for those who love us and those whom we love, may they know your love and care. For those who are in danger, homeless or displaced. For those who are oppressed or used as cheap labour. For those with nowhere to turn. May we always be aware of their needs and our responsibilities towards them. Keep them safe in your care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the sick, overwhelmed and exhausted. For those whose hearts are troubled and those living in the shadow of fear. For all those in intensive care fighting for life. Especially children recently affected by the illness proving difficult to diagnose. For those we name before you now on our screens or in our hearts. Pour out your spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who've travelled recently through death into the light of everlasting life, may we share with them and all our loved ones here and departed the glory of heaven. Soothe their sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for the glimpses of heaven you give us in this world and that your steadfast love endures forever. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins, and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, 
Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, thank you as always for joining me. Thank you. We sang happy birthday yesterday, but I'm sure we all send our congratulations to now honorary Colonel Tom on his 100th birthday. And let's hold in our prayers today, uh, Colonel Tom and all other ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Um, not just in this time of crisis, but every single day of their lives. So thank you once again for being with me. I wish you a very good day, whatever you're doing, and hope you can join me again tomorrow.